Yo, YouTube fam, how y'all doing? Your boy Tecmo here again, back with another review and unboxing. And what we have today is another pair of Sony Extra Bass Bluetooth headphones. Now these are the newest pair that Sony has released. And I did do a review and unboxing on the older pair, which are the X. 950 BTs a few weeks back so if you didn't watch that video check that video out but these are the newest pair like I've said and these have a few features that those did not have so I'm curious to see if Sony improved the bass a little bit because on the X950 BTs in my opinion the bass was a manufactured sound so I'm curious to see if the sound has been improved at all and I'm curious to see if the noise cancellation on these is just a gimmick or if it really adds value to these headphones because these are actually $50 more than those are. Those retail for $199. These retail for $249. So I'm not going to talk too much. You know the format, guys. I'm going to take you to the website, go through the specs quickly, then we get right to the review and unboxing. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So as you can see, we're on Sony's website and again what we are going to be reviewing and unboxing are the Sony MDR X950 N1 extra bass Bluetooth headphones okay and I'm just gonna go through the specs very quickly so you guys have an idea of what features these headphones have so here we go down here this is just a small picture of how they look and you have two color options with these. You have a greenish color and you have black, which is what I got. Now we'll go down and look at the specs right now. It says, love the bass. Extra bass enhances all of your low end frequencies, lifting every track with wave after wave of thundering rhythm. Just touch the bass effect button to get started. Okay, and here are a few features. It says, love the noise long-lasting wireless freedom so these should deliver 22 hours of playback time now that's two hours more than the 950 bts which have 20 hours worth of playback time and it says fine-tuned by you set the perfect sound for every song and you do that by using the sony headphones connect app there is a picture of the app on a sony device of course and here is a picture of the greenish colored variant of these headphones it's a nice color i mean it's not a very vibrant green but i'm sure some people will opt for that color just to be a little bit different but me personally i like the black that's fine i'm a traditional person i'm fine with the black okay it says listen anywhere anytime listen for hours in comfort with soft cushioned ear pads and pack them easily into your bag thanks to the foldable design and that's the difference between these and the 950 BTs, which I'll show you once I actually unbox and review them. You can fold these. The other ones, all you could do was lay them flat with the ear cups down. Okay? And then down here, we have the specs and the features. Again, extra bass for deep, punchy sound. High quality audio with Bluetooth wireless technology. Digital noise canceling technology. Optimize your sound settings with Sony Headphones Connect app. And you have 22 hours of battery life. And again, two features that really distinguish these from the 950 BTs is that these have noise cancellation and these are $50 more. These are $249.99 retail. Okay? And here, we'll just see if they have anything else in terms of features. And no, that's just another overview of what I've just told you. Now it doesn't say how long it will take these to charge. Um, I've heard some people say five hours. I've heard some people say seven hours. That seems like a really long time for these to charge. So when I do my next video on these, once I actually deplete the battery, I'll update you guys on how long it took me to charge them once I depleted the battery. But for now, I'm not sure how long it takes, so I'm not going to give you guys a number because I don't have a definitive answer. So, that being said, let's get straight to the review and unboxing. Let me get back to the table. Stay tuned. Okay, so I just give you guys an overall look of the boxing so you know what you're looking for if you decide to go pick these up. That's the front there. Okay, on the side there, there's not much. 
Um, it just has some phones listed that these headphones are compatible with. On the back there, just have a few pictures and an overview of the specs that I just went over on the website. On the other side, it just has a picture of one of the ear cups and extra base. Okay, and on the top is nothing. So let's go ahead and open these up. And while I'm doing that, again, I always have to say thank you to everybody that has liked and subscribed to the channel since my last video. We steadily growing, guys, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. You know, I really do appreciate all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, so soon as you open up the box, this tab is hanging out. And what this is showing you is the Sony Headphones Connect app that you can download on Google and on Apple as well. What this allows you to do is change the equalizer settings on these headphones. That's one thing that I kind of complained about with the other ones in comparison to the Skull Candy Crushers is that you have the slider to where you can change the bass on the fly. Say you want a little bit more bass on one song and a little less on another song. You don't have to do anything special. Um, all you had to do on those is slide them up and down. Now with this, you have the app to where you can change your equalizer settings. So that's kind of correcting that issue a little bit. So that's a good feature that you have with these. You set that to the side and the inside box that you take out is just a straight black box. Doesn't have anything on it, just a plain black box. And the goodies are inside. So we just flip this open and there are the headphones. And as you can see, they are all black. They do not have the red accents like the other ones do. They are all black. The other ones had the accents on the ear cups right around this area. And you have your Sony branding in a grayish color. Okay, so right off the bat, they feel flexible, but they don't feel like they're flimsy. They feel like they can withstand a little bit of abuse. And that's a good thing because when you're paying $249 for some headphones, you don't want something that you drop once or twice and they're no good. So we just have a look at the buttons. And another thing, guys, the other pair of headphones, you could not fold. All you could do was sit them down like that. Now they've changed that with these. Now you can fold them as well. So that's really cool. You know what I mean? That's a feature that I like to have. When you have them like this, you can transport them a lot easier than if you have to be restricted to that. So that's great. Now, as far as the buttons on these, on the right ear cup, you have your noise cancellation button right there. You have your input if you do not want to listen to these wirelessly because you can use these with the jack as well. There's your USB charging port and there's your bass boost button. And of course, here is your power button. And on the other ear cup, you have your volume up and down and then you have your pause and play, which you push down and then you have fast forward and you have rewind and again those double as you go to the next track or you go to the previous track you can do all of that through this slider okay so I sit these down and we look at what else is in the box just a piece of cardboard there and under this pair gives you a carrying case Okay, which is nice. It's a nice soft material, but again, the other pair didn't have one at all and I feel something inside. So let's see what they give you inside. So inside of the bag, they give you your USB charging cable. These do not come with a wall adapter. So you'll have to either plug them into one that you already have or plug them into a computer or something of that nature. And here is your 3.5 millimeter cord. And again, this is if you do not want to use them wirelessly. And a major difference between these and the last pair is that you can use the bass boost even if you're not using them wirelessly. The last pair, you had to be using them via Bluetooth to enjoy the extra bass. That is not the case with these. Either way, you can have the bass boost and the noise cancellation on. So that's a great feature. They're not making you pick and choose.
And here is your documentation. You know I don't open that unless I have an issue and I can't figure it out. I think I can pretty much figure out how to pair them and do the simple stuff that I need to do with these headphones. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put them on my head and give you guys a view of how they look so you have an idea of how thick these ear pads are. Give me a second. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have them on my head now. And again, these are over the ear headphones so your ears fit inside of the ear cups. Off the bat, these ear cups are very comfortable. They're very thick, but they are comfortable. They don't feel like they're gonna irritate me if I have them on for a long period of time. They feel very comfortable. And I'll give you guys a side view of how they look. Back view. Other side, without listening to them or hearing anything, I am very impressed with how these are constructed. So what I'm gonna do now is take you guys to my phone. We'll look at the app and see what kind of functionality is built into it. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm in the Sony Headphones Connect app and I'm kind of impressed with exactly what you can do. I paired them using the app. Pairing was super simple. Um, all I did was hold the power button on the headphones for about seven seconds. Once I did that, the app automatically detected my headphones and asked me if I wanted to pair them. All I did after that was click it and they were paired. So going back to the app, this is what you can do. You can turn on surround sound and you have different modes. Okay, you have it off, you have arena, you have club, you have outdoor stage, concert hall, and back to off. So those are basically your equalizer settings you have about five or six there so that's good that you can choose your different settings on that here is where you can adjust the bass you can have it all the way down which is minus 10 okay and you see the bars right there or you can dial it up and have it all the way there and you have there with the electro bass booster so you know your boy Tecmo is going to be somewhere around here because I'm a bass head. I love bass, so I'm probably never going to be anywhere around here or in the negative. I'm always going to be somewhere around here to full blast. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play a few songs through them, uh, and I'll be right back. I'll give you guys an analysis of how I think they sound. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so before I give you an analysis of how they sound, I want to demonstrate the leakage for you guys. Now I did it in a different way last time. I put the headphones on the table and people in the comment section were like, put them on your head, put them on your head. Okay, they're on my head. Okay, I'm gonna play a song and then demonstrate the leakage for you guys. And a lot of people seem to think that noise cancellation means that they're not going to leak at all. That's not the case. Noise cancellation is supposed to eliminate outside sound from coming in, distracting the user. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate that these do leak. Okay, so if you think that you're going to get these and play them full blast and them not leak any kind of sound, that's just unrealistic. I'm standing no more than, say, about eight inches away from my camcorder. So hold on. So I don't know how much the camera is picking that up, but when I take them off of my head, I can pretty much hear everything that the music is saying, okay? So let me turn to the side. Maybe that'll give you guys a little more of an idea. So I don't know how much it's picking up the leakage, but these do leak sound, okay? Now, as far as the noise cancellation, I can't hear anything right now. All I hear is my music. So if I clap my hands, I can't hear that. So, I mean, as far as the noise cancellation, I think the noise cancellation is good when you're listening to music. Um, it seems to do what it says it's supposed to do, but as far as it leaking noise, it does leak sound. Okay guys, so I played a few songs with them and I just wanna to touch on a couple things that I did not touch on earlier. Okay, so these headphones do have voice prompts. When you turn them on, they say battery on. Um, when they're pairing, they say pairing. When you turn them off, they say battery off. Now, I haven't depleted the battery yet, so I don't know if they give you voice prompts when your battery gets low. I'm pretty sure they do, but I can't confirm or deny that right now. And you can 
turn the noise canceling off and on through the app and again there it shows you how much battery life you have left on the headphones now as far as the sound quality I am impressed with the upgrade in the bass department okay the highs are still pretty good I would give the highs on these about a 7.5 to an 8 they're really balanced I do not think that they're drowned out by the bass now as far as the bass I do like the bass that these push out more than I like on the X 950 BTs now these have a deeper bass it's not as much of a manufactured sound as the X 950 BTs have now these are a little bit closer to the bass that the Skull Candy Crushers deliver but it's nowhere near as much even with the bass dialed all the way up these are not touching the Skull Candy Crushers those are just a different type of animal I haven't had a pair of headphones yet that get that loud and deliver that much deep subwoofer in the back of your car type of bass now these I would say the bass on these are about an 8 okay they're not a 10 like what I said with the crushers but these are definitely a step in the right direction okay I'm more pleased with these and the sound that these deliver than I was with the X950 BTs I think that they made some improvements and I think that these are worth the extra $50 over the X950 BT. I really do think that with the noise cancellation, with the fact that you can fold these up, the fact that you can dial the bass up and down and change your equalizer settings, I think that is enough to pay an extra $50 for these. I mean, you guys know I'm usually looking for the cheapest price, but as far as these Sony Extra Bass headphones, I think these are the best value um, if you're looking for that good sound and if you're looking for the features that these offer. Now, I will use these for a week like I always do and give you guys an update on anything that I come across after this initial review and unboxing. So. Give me about a week, let me break them in and listen to them for a little while and then I will drop another video for you guys and update you guys. But for right now, these are a go for me. They sound great. I'm happy with the bass that they deliver. I'm happy with the build quality. I really don't have any complaints at this point in time. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section. You know your boy Tecmo will answer you. Even if I don't know the answer, I'll let you know I'm not sure. So until next time, guys, I hope you guys have a great week. Your boy Tecmo, I'm out. Peace.